Can you tell us your name, age, and what you do for a living? Absolutely. So my name is Adrian Trice. I am 45. And I am a business owner. I own a business and tax strategy office um, with my son. Nice. That's awesome. Current relationship status? Divorced. Okay. And, well, I was going to ask, do you have children? Well, how many okay. children? Yeah. How many children do you have? Yeah, I am a mom of three sons, 20 let me see, 25, 23, and 15. Awesome, awesome. Do you want children in the future? No. <laughs> <laughs> 25, 23, and 15. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm in my matriarchal phase where I'm looking forward to becoming a grandmother here in a couple years or so. I hear you. Start out with X. Why did your last relationship end? Oh, that's that's pretty easy. I believe that we just grew apart, um, going into different directions. Um, it actually ended pretty amicable, so we're pretty good friends till today. But yeah, we just, just grew apart. We just didn't have the same vision for the future. That speaks volumes when you could still be amicable with exes, you know? Absolutely. He was such a great step up dad to my kids so they still communicate with him nice so what's a deal breaker for you oh um i don't know if i have deal breakers per se but if we were to talk about it i suppose i do like smoking i'm just not a huge fan of cigarette smoke mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um one of the things that i am conscientious of or is mindful is the language that the prospective um, soulmate, because it's more like now a soulmate, um, the relationship that he would have with his mother, um, the conversational pieces that he has about women, um, those are important things. And if he views himself as an example, because again, I do have these three sons that are watching, but no, no major deal breaker, just more what's gonna be more a connection. I understand. I understand. So how do you handle difficult situations? By calling them challenges um, and not necessarily difficult um, because I believe anything could be resolved with mm -hmm. open communication. It's not approaching it as resistance, but really uh, being in a communicative, communicative state and uh, a resolution driven state. Just finding out where that person is coming from and neutralizing emotions initially, you know, just as much as possible. We are human, but just having those conversations. I mean, you don't and and if you go into the conversation without the objective of being right, because it doesn't matter who's right. It's just being understood. Mm -hmm. So why do you want to be married? For a while, I was disconnected from that term marriage. And then, of course, um, I've been following you. Um, I think that type of relationship is still ordained. And I think you came up around the time I flew back and I saw my parents. Mm. And um, it, it was a very strong finding someone that I could be in a, a committed relationship to let me go ahead and contemplate marriage again. Cause my mom and dad have been married for 48 years and my mom had hip surgery mm -hmm. and the amount of love that those two had for each other and the compassion and the reassurance. I was in tears. I was like, this is where it's at. Um, there's, you know, of course, teenage sweethearts, and they had me at a very young age, but it was really good. It was really heartwarming to see them, and then they they still are romantic, and they call each other, like, cute names, and they have sexual innuendos still, and at one time in the 20s, that would be gross, and I'm like, you guys still, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's so hilarious, but 
Um, it is about the love and support and, you know, figuring out. And I believe that they're best friends. So it would be just sharing the remainder of my life with someone who has like the same vision. And life is better when you're with someone. And then I have a 15 year old, so he'll be gone soon. So what am I going to do with myself? <laughs> yeah, because they're going to live their life, you know? Right. <laughs> so. For sure. Okay, let's go a little deeper. I have three questions. Okay. Okay. When you were scared, sad, angry, or overwhelmed, who, if anyone, did you go to for comfort as a child? My dad. Nice. Nice. Are you a saver or a spender? I'm a money maker. <laughs> That spins. <laughs> yeah, like seriously, I'm a revenue generator. I have a business. So I definitely justify my spending. So I scale every dollar. Love it. What did you learn about relationships from watching your caregivers? What are you referring to my mom and dad? Yes. Well, I actually was able to watch them, you know, from 20s, 30s, 40s. I left when um, they were in, I left home when they were in their late 30s. And I go back and I visit, but I learn uh, that each of them have had to have patience with one another through each phase of life. Like them 20s, I saw them in their 20s and I don't have horrible memories, but it wasn't the easiest. And then I saw how my dad had a mission for my mom and him as far as a family. Um, I just saw that how my mom followed that mission because he was so well uh, intended and he fulfilled retiring them in their early 50s. Mm. So um, as long as my dad had the mission, he was a man of faith, my mom followed and um, that is my biggest takeaway from that relationship. And then my mom had her home responsibilities. So while she did work from the away from the home, they each had a description of how that house was going to function. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. So obviously your DM are open, right? They are open, but I don't be paying attention. <laughs> I probably have lost all kind of soulmates in the DMs, you know, because <laughs> I'm a business owner. So I have my uh, my staff really manage the majority of my inboxes. <laughs> sure. So if anyone is interested, how can they get in contact with me? Well, I'll tell them to slide into my DMs and then I'll tell my assistants to be watching out now for my DMs. <laughs> But before, yes, there, I, I used to watch them and sometimes they would be, be pretty busy. Understood. I know you're a busy woman. Well, thank you so much for your time, Adrian. This